Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm doing a screen record. My dad's having surgery today, back surgery at that. So I'm trying to get this video out. It's a lot going on this week, but I do appreciate, you know, your support and understanding. So I'm just sharing my screen with in a Robinhood account. So I'm going to do these updates twice a month now, I think, just to show you what it looks like at the beginning of the month and then do like a mid to late month update to see how the account is doing. Um, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's go on over and kind of walk through this. So this is our Robinhood account. This account is specifically for dividend investing. Um, I have a lot of videos talking about why we created this account this way. Um, so make sure you go back through some of my other videos and explore um, what else. And I am really am excited. The next time you see this account, this account will be over the $40,000 mark. Uh, we'll have our tax refund and we do plan on investing a lot of it. So um, it will be here. But as of today, we're currently sitting right under the $40,000 mark. We're at $39,129 and some change. The market is currently open. That's why you see this number changing. So I just wanted to let you know, uh, just so that you can see the past week. Okay, so when you see this, this means like in the past. So 1D is the past one day. 1W is the past one week. One month is the past one month, so on and so forth. So just, you know, to give you an idea of how the account is performing, especially in a down market um, and how you can still grow your investments, grow your dividends, even in a bearish market, even in a um, downturn. So yeah, let me... um put this there and okay so we don't have any money here to invest so this is not an invest with me this is just like you know this is how much we have currently so these are all our positions over here um and just to scroll down so you can see i like robin hood because of the simplicity um i have a several different types of brokerages but um to me again in my personal humble opinion if you are brand new to the stock market, like brand spanking new, and you're trying to manage your own investments, you want to learn more, to me, the easiest, simplest interface out there is Robinhood. My daughter knows how to use this. So uh, it's, it's just simple and easy for the beginner. You can see the market is starting to come down a little bit, but it is around lunchtime that I'm recording this video. It's about 12.51 on a Monday, so... Um, markets usually kind of come down or stabilize a little bit while everybody's at lunch. So that's probably why. Um, but yeah, you can see some of the trending types of in stock lists. So some people will make stocks, you know, just or find stocks rather in terms of like um, the 100 most popular or they're looking for like the daily movers, energy. These are some of the sectors, healthcare. Because I'm a buy and hold investor, I really am just focusing on these over here. But again, uh, Robinhood has and I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Uh, but Robin, if you are listening, you know, reach out. <laughs> Um, but I like the learn thing. That's one thing Moomoo has that I really love about Moomoo is that they have the learn feature so you can educate yourself. This is just some of the news, how the markets are doing currently, some more information about the yields, some, you know, daily movers and things like that. So these are our stocks. I'm just going to go through these and show you these right here. So our first position is CVS. We do like CVS. Uh, and you can see that we have, let me scroll down, 30.22 shares. And we're down about 7% in this, but we like CVS overall and we'll continue to buy and hold. Again, this is not investment or financial advice. I'm just showing you what we're doing and hopefully encouraging you, right? Encouraging you to do the same. Uh, British Petroleum, we have what? 66.21 shares. So our short-term goal here is 75 and then 100. So you can see we're almost there. And look, it's at $40. We're up 52% in this position, which is kind of crazy. Um, Aflac, the healthcare sector is one that's big on my radar and that's one that will do good in a down market or, um, you know, a bull market, but you can see we have 37.75 shares. Our short term goal is 50. So we're almost there and we're up about 27% ish. Again, the market can go up or down and those percentages can change, but we like these long term. Um, I don't trade options or anything like that. I just buy and hold into companies and funds my husband and I believe in. And that's pretty much what we do. Coca-Cola, I really want to get this one to 50 and we're almost there. So that's why I'm going to be focusing on this one this month because I think we can do it. And we're up about 15, almost 16% in Coca-Cola. Do you guys have Coca-Cola, by the way? Do you like Coca-Cola as like a company and all that? Because I really do like um, Coca-Cola. 
And then we have um, KO right there. Is this recording? So now we're here at Coca-Cola. You can see, and we really are big fans of Coca-Cola. We're almost at our 50 share mark goal. That's short term. So that's why we're going to be focusing on this for this month, really trying to uh, get to this um, goal. But you can see we're up about 15%, almost 16% actually in Coca-Cola. Moving on to Bank of America. So this is the financial sector. And we are down 16% in this position. But long term, you know, we like them. And our short term goal is 50 and we're going to cap it there. So once we're done, well, once we get to 50, that's that's all of Bank of America. Um, do you guys own any like financials or banking companies? Let me know down below. Then we have my favorite stock ever, especially dividend stock. Um, and that's Realty Income. They are down today, which is great, but sad because I don't have any extra money to invest. It's not payday right now. <laughs> Um, so we currently have 119, pretty much 120 shares. We're down about 5%. Now this one, we're not so focused on the returns because we buy this multiple times a month when we get paid, when I get paid for my business side income, we always are buying into this. So it's not like buy and then we stop. We buy into this constantly. Um, but yeah, we're doing pretty good. Our short term goal is 150. So I think we can get there by the end of this year. Next is Amcor, big, big fan of this as well. We currently have 70.27 shares. This is another one we're almost at 100 shares with. And it's relatively, you know, cheap. I mean, $11.06. I mean, the market is, is falling. So I think the president is speaking right now. So, you know, it is what it is. But we believe in this long term and we're down about 7%. So sometimes you're up, right? You're not up all the time. You're not up all the time. Um, but we're not down all the time either. You know, that's why we buy and hold. Main Street is another monthly paying company. And every company and fund in this portfolio pays a dividend, just to let you guys know. We have 60.95 shares. So we're almost at our short term goal of 75 shares. We have, we're up about 8% or a little over it. So I really do like Main Street. They're a little under the radars. And I like under the radar companies. I think I mentioned that before. Next is Ultra. This is one I talked about in my video I put out Monday about how we're so close at 83 shares to 100. So we're going to focus on this a little bit more. This is a, a sin stock, a tobacco and alcohol company, but we do love it long term. They've been around forever, like forever, ever. And so we really do like them. We're down about 1.33%, which is not too bad. I mean, again, we're in a bear market, but we do like Altria long term. Verizon. Verizon is the one we're down the most in. Like we're down almost 30%. Look at this. $500 we're down in Verizon. They're having a tough time right now. But one thing I do love about Verizon is that they recognize the problem and they're working to fix it. And um, that's good for me as an investor. And so we currently have 35 shares and we would like to get this to 50 and then stop. So, you know, this is one of those companies we'll evaluate it again at the end of the year we may sell it if we do i'll share this with the patreon folks and the membership folks so if you want to get more like behind the scenes type of stuff make sure you check out those options then we have cisco systems 31.75 shares we are down in this one as well about 5.5 percent we would like to get this to 50 and stock this and stop. They are really good tech companies. So we want to, we love tech. It's one of my favorite sectors, but it is the most volatile. So yeah, then we have Arbor Realty Trust. This is another one of my favorite REITs. We are down just $2, about $2 or 0.11. So not a whole lot. We currently have 115.22 shares. 150 is the short goal. And we can get to this, I would think by the summer, because this is, $15 and some change. And we can get this relatively, um, get to that goal relatively fast. Uh-oh. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. And if you guys want to sign up with Robinhood or any of the other brokerages, I did a video talking about the best brokerage apps and platforms, especially for beginners. Check out that video. And again, all of my referral links are down below. It don't cost you anything to use them and sign up. But, you know, it gives us both um, free stock and it's just a great way to support the channel. And you guys know I do appreciate it. Um, so we have one echo OKE. That's the ticker symbol. This is an in the energy sector um, and they process and you can see right here, gather, process, transport, store and market natural gas. 
you know, the oil and gas sector is where a lot of the old money is, you know, the old rich money. And so we have some money here as well. We have 42.73 shares. We're up about 15%. Um, and this, our short-term goal is 50. I think we can get to there probably by the summer, honestly, by the summer we can get there. Um, and so that's why, because we reached our JEPI share size goal, we did announce it in the Monday's video. Um, we, re we reached our $500 share. What well, our $500 share? Our 500 share size goal. That's a lot of money. That's about $28,000. So now we can pause on that and focus on building up some of these other ones since we're so close. Iron Mountain, I really would like to start building this one up. We have 5.66 shares and we're up about 12% here too. So you can see in most of these positions, we're more we're up more than we're down, which is, you know, what you want when you are investing. QILD, this is one for income. Um, and so we're down about 6.22%. We have 257 shares. 300 is like the goal. We may bump it up to 500 after that or just pause, but I'm not sure what we'll do. Um, my husband really wants to um, focus on this and get this built up to at least 300. So that's what we're going to do. And then finally, ET, we currently have, let's see, 61.51 shares. We're up about 11.22%. Um, and this one we can get, we want to get to 100 to this. And we're going to really try to bump this up um, this month. And I would say, again, by the summer, because that's like the midway point in the year. And this is like $13.21. They had a pretty solid earnings. So um, I really am liking energy transfer as well. And I think those are it. So you can see we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 positions in this portfolio. Our max is 20. So, you know, if we once we get to some of these other share size goals, then we'll add some. I do have a watch list here and you can create several different types of watch lists, like all these lists. If you want to have an options watch list, a dividends watch list, you can have a lot of those in Robinhood and a lot of the other brokerages. But again, we want to just make sure that we're not stretching ourselves too thin. But picking a few, building up our share size, that's why I have the book of dividends. That's really awesome for that. Tracking is, is great for that. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much it. So you can see that the market rebound a little bit. <laughs> it's now back up to 39128 but it is what it is. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to join a Patreon, if you need one-on-one -on -one private help, if you want to check out my podcast, buy me a coffee, all of that stuff is down below. It's a great way to support the channel. And I do appreciate all that you guys do for me seriously. So I'm going to get off of here and check to see how my dad's surgery is going. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for all the kind words. And I do appreciate all the support. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye for now.